I'm gonna let it build up a bit, then I'll open it, because we'll get it. I'm gonna be showing you how to make some of my favorite anti-inflammatory drinks. They are packed with incredible ingredients. All the things that you can drink from morning to evening that can help reduce your inflammation. So the first one I'm gonna show you is one of my favorite lattes. It's an ashwagandha turmeric latte. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen that actually helps to reduce stress in the body. A lot of the inflammation that we have comes into our body because our stress levels are so high these days. So I've just added in some ashwagandha, some turmeric, because turmeric is anti-everything. And then I've got cardamom and then a little bit of black pepper. I'm also adding in a little bit of cinnamon. For a little bit of sweetness, chopped dates. You bring it to boil about two or three times to let all the flavors infuse. This is such a great drink to make just before you're going to bed or even in the morning, having a snuggly warm drink really helps to soothe your nervous system. I just love the smell of cardamom. It's such a strong, beautiful smell. Mm, that's really good. Yum, I haven't had that for ages. I'm on a health kick right now and it is getting to flu season and I'm doing everything that I can to make sure I can stay as healthy as possible. Health is about so much more than just what you eat. And so I've been using Whoop to monitor my sleep, my movement, and my recovery. It has been such a great tool to refine what I'm doing every single day to optimize my health, especially being able to see what my body is capable of during my workouts. It has helped me to reach my goals, to push my limits, and to see how amazing my body actually is. I've actually been keeping a journal of what I'm eating in the evening and seeing how it affects my sleep quality and quantity. Whoop also has this incredible journal feature so you can track everything from your period to your medications you're taking and pretty much just your day-to-day -day patterns and how they are affecting you. It has helped me to realize what I really need rather than following what everyone else is doing for their health. Whoop also has this amazing community online and I mentioned the Sober October challenge last month and they just finished and it has been so amazing to see what difference it has made for people. Being able to see the changes in your health data helps to keep you more motivated and helps with consistency and sticking to your goals. I also love that it's screenless because I definitely do not need another screen to look at in life. Whoop has this little on the go charger so you actually cannot find an excuse to skip a workout. So the next drink I'm gonna show you is a berry green iced tea. Berries are actually so rich in antioxidants and so it's so beneficial to have berries in your diet every single day. Now I've already steeped my green tea. It's a couple of green tea bags with some water and you only have to do that for a couple of hours. I'm gonna whiz up some berries so we have some nice berry puree to add into it. I'm adding in blueberries and blackberries because every single berry and fruit have different vitamins and minerals in them. I'm gonna add a little lemon zest and some lemon juice. I'm actually gonna add some mint inside too because I just love the flavor of mint ground up. I add in herbs wherever possible. Look how beautiful this color is. We're gonna strain this so you don't get the seeds when you're drinking it so it can be nice and smooth. Add in some of the puree at the bottom of your glass. Pour in your green tea. Give it a good mix. If you're someone who has a sweet tooth and you want it a little bit sweeter, you can either add in some agave or I like using this monk fruit maple syrup because it doesn't spike your blood sugar if you're having it early in the morning. Add in some ice, but you don't have to, only if you like things a little bit cooler. And then just to make it a little bit cuter, a sprig of mint. Mmm, yum. It's so refreshing. And the fresh berries really come through. The green tea, it has like this bitterness, but not too much. And the mint makes it really refreshing. So this next recipe is actually from my book, Joyful, and it is called Sand's Green Juice. Sand is my brother-in-law, and when I first tasted his green juice, I was like, this is the best green juice I've had in my whole entire life. And so I had to put it in the cookbook, and essentially you take all your ingredients and you just throw them into the juicer. Oh. First, we're adding in some celery. Whether it's your skin, your digestion, focus and attention, you know, celery juice has been shown to help with so many things. Next, I'm gonna add in some kale. Now, kale is obviously can be a little bit bitter. Bitter foods actually help to purify your blood. Having bitter foods in your diet is actually really important 
to help with the detoxification of your blood and helping to process that. Ginger is going in next because anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antiviral. Also, it adds this heat inside this green juice, which is really nice, the sharpness um, to balance out all the different flavors. Green apple, the sourness of the green apple um, adds a nice balance. So this isn't in the recipe in my book, but I love fennel so much. It is such a great cooling vegetable. All of these ingredients are actually very cooling, but fennel also has this sweetness to it. So you can actually batch make this. Ideally, fresher the better, but sometimes you don't have time to do that. Ooh. I just added in two limes, but you can use lemon or lime. And lastly, I'm gonna add in a handful of some fresh herbs. So I'm gonna put in some parsley and some mint. Next, I'm gonna put in some cucumber. Now, the more water content a vegetable has, the more hydrating it is, and cucumber is so juicy. Oh, the ginger's spicy, the lime is limey, and all the other flavors are just coming together so beautifully. It's really refreshing. CCF is known as the queen of spice blends in Ayurveda, and I like to keep a jar of it just like this. Now, CCF stands for coriander, cumin, and fennel seeds. I do equal amounts of each one. And usually in the morning when I wake up, before I sit in my meditation, I'll put on a big pot of this and I'll sip on it through the morning. I usually let it boil for a couple of minutes and then just strain it out. Mm, delish. I love having a smoothie in the morning and so I wanted to give you guys a quick smoothie option that's also anti-inflammatory. I am going to start off by adding in some milk. Avocados have incredible healthy fats which don't just help to nourish your body from the inside but also is so great for your skin and hair and everything you see on the outside. Adding in some cinnamon and then some almond butter and one date for sweetness. My mum used to make me avocado milkshakes every single day when I used to come back from school. So I have a nostalgic feeling every time I make them. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> I hope these recipes help you to add in more anti inflammatory foods into your day.